Charlie Kirk is still around, believe it or not. And during a recent event, he wanted to warn about something very, very serious. This is during a Turning Point USA conference in Texas, Dallas, Texas. Let's watch. We live in an abundant society. We live in a place where you could have literally weed delivered to your front door. It's like, what? And somehow, oh, that's liberty. No, that's actually slavery. <laughs> All right, a little insulting to actual slavery. But I do want to share the perspective of someone I admire quite a bit, Matt Leck, who has a wonderful podcast called The Left Reckoning with David Griscom and is a producer over at The Majority Report. He said something that I totally agree with. Weed is slavery, amphetamines, now those are liberty. <laughs> Anna, um, I don't know what you might be talking about. That's really good for people. Whereas weed, of course, is. But I what? love, you know, that Jenk doesn't do amphetamines when he's like randomly scratching his neck. Is know, that what people on amphetamines do? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what Charlie Kirk does. I don't know what people no, on amphetamines just do. Just watch any Trump speech where he's like sniffing constantly. Oh yeah, that, and that. has dry mouth. Yeah. That's a better description. That's such a yeah. Trump thing. <laughs> okay, I'm a very stable genius. Very stable. I did not take any drugs. Anyways, um, but by the way, what the hell is he talking about? I I don't even really know <laughs> what he means. I'm guessing. I'm gonna assume, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna assume that he means if you're getting weed delivered to you, then you're a slave to the drug. I would argue that's capitalism, baby. Yeah. Right, that's the free market. I mean, you see it happening with every other business. Why wouldn't it happen with the marijuana dispensaries that have the option to deliver? No, but that's like literally the opposite of slavery is freedom. Freedom to smoke whatever you want, to consume whatever you want. Right. And in terms of the delivery business, I don't know why he's picking on them. What a random thing. And if you're having Popeye's chicken sandwiches delivered to you, slavery, right? Oh, yeah. What kind of insane comment is that? So, okay, now if it's the delivery, well, that's obviously the markets. So, he does he want to limit the market for the people who legalize marijuana? No. Does he want to get rid of sh 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 ride shares? What, what, do you, what does he want to do? What an insane thing to say. Now, finally, we get to the part where. Oh, by the way, it's also deeply offensive. Yes, no, I mean, that's that's really the main point, right? To say that this is slavery, like don't compare this to slavery, You're, it's disgusting. But no, I'm actually, I'm gonna go back to the lighter point real quick because look, and maybe this is not a light point. Maybe this is just a wake up call for anyone who looks at the Charlie Kirks of the world or even the Ben Shapiro's of the world. And they were fooled into thinking that it's like a different flavor from the right wing conservatism of like the Reagan era. No, it's not different. It's actually very similar. He's judging based on people deciding that they want to use marijuana, which is, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you consider alcohol, tobacco, all of the other things that are legalized um, is relatively harmless. And so he's, he's not different from the Republican dorks of yesteryear. He's the same. And so is Ben Shapiro, who dedicated an entire book to wanting to ban porn. Like, this is what they do. This is what their entire focus really is. So they're really, they're gonna get young kids to be in favor of corporate tax cuts and deregulation. Yeah, baby. By telling them, don't smoke weed, it's like slavery, and don't watch porn. Good luck with that strategy. By the way, he wrote a whole book about it. But then when they gave him money to do propaganda online and he realized he needs to appeal to young people and that was his shtick for getting money from fracking magnets and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Meanwhile, of course, he's like, oh yeah, you know, cancer culture. By the way, fracking is great. We don't need Green New Deal at all. Fracking is awesome. Is this Charlie Kirk or no, Ben Shapiro? No, that's Ben Shapiro. Oh, got it. Okay, so, but in the midst of all that, he dropped all that anti-porn stuff. Did you notice that? Like yeah. he doesn't talk about that ever anymore. It's embarrassing. He, yeah, because no, he probably did it a couple of times and he was like, uh, yeah, you know how uh, porn is terrible and everybody's like, boo, boo, even if so, like the right wingers, what are they doing all day? What do you think they're doing, right? So the incels that they literally can't get laid, what do you think they're doing? So, no, I. But, but, but the, uh, the point though is, these are the guys in favor of freedom. Mm. Don't watch that, don't eat that, don't drink this, don't do it in that position, don't do it with that person, don't touch your body. 
if you're a woman for for reproductive reasons, if you're a man for the other reason, okay, etc. But we're the freedom party. Really? Yeah. I think you might be misunderstanding, misunderstanding that word. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.